Hello people, Nebulistic Fox here. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Dirt 3 and right now I'm just going to be uh, playing around with this new steering wheel which I got, which is actually for an Xbox 360 and just getting a feel for it. I've played it for, uh, I've played with this controller for maybe an hour or so, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of talk about it a little bit and test it out here in Dirt, so. A uh, pretty easy game for this kind of thing. It's got some pretty good driver assists. So uh, for now, we're just going to start with uh, single player and the single race. We're going to do rally cross because you know I like actually racing other people. All right, where am I going here? Um. more fun I don't I don't really know all the tracks too well in this game that one looks fun uh, there's only two options for that I like the evening evening sun is what I like kind of sunset right, let's do uh... that one's only got two options too um... Sure, let's go here. I haven't been here. At least I don't remember it. To uh, rally cross. Three laps, that sounds good. Alright. Pick my car. I always go by horsepower here. So let's see, that one's got 560 over there. Uh, looks like 560 is as good as we're getting. We'll just do this one. Alright. I got the pedals under my desk too. Gas and brake pedal. And they actually feel pretty realistic. Yeah, I love the feel of this, uh, this controller. It does not have force feedback. However, it does have vibration, which is nice. That's as close to force feedback as you're going to get. Alright, this looks like an interesting track. Let's turn off some driver assists here. Um, okay, let's do... Visual only, yes. I don't know what half these things are. There should be... Corner braking, I like that being on. Um, there should be an option here. There it is. Turn that off. That's the thing that I don't like. It leaves a big green line in the middle of the track. And I mean, I guess it's, I guess some people like it. A lot of people like it, but I just, I don't like it. It's also got the uh, shifter over here on the side the stick. Oh, I have uh, braking around corners turned on. That's kind of obnoxious. But without it, I would probably be way worse at this game than I already am. Oh, no. I really don't know a whole lot about using stick shifts, but... All I know is once it gets to the red upshift and then downshift around turns, I just kind of judge that in my head. I don't really have a reference, a visual reference for it. Can I pass this guy? Yes, I can. Yeah, the thing that I don't like about the uh, uh, slowing down automatic, the automatic braking around turns, is you can't drift because it slows you down around the turns. I played around with this uh, the steering wheel and grid a little bit, and I actually got to drift. It's it just all has to do with the driver assists. So I'll probably do one or two races, just for the fun of it. See, I'm much better with an Xbox uh, 360 controller. 
However, uh, it's a lot more fun using this, especially using the, uh, the stick. You can set the uh, transmission to automatic, but it's just a lot more fun actually being able to shift yourself. It makes you feel cooler, you know. Plus then you're using both your hands, and since, since this is such a small wheel, you don't want to be using both of your hands on the wheel, it's just kind of, kind of weird. Alright. How many laps do I have? Oh, three laps, easy enough. Right now I'm trying out a new software, I'm trying out OBS. Uh, OBS Studio, actually. I've been using Bandicam. Uh, however, I do find OBS to uh, not give me such a performance hit. I can run games at a full 60 FPS uh, with OBS running. It does lower the FPS a little bit in the output video. Um, however, the game still runs really smooth. Alright. First place. Alright, yeah, we'll do one more. Next race, uh, I will do... Turn off the uh, automatic braking and see how that works out. I am better with the braking, but like I said, it's just a lot more fun without it. Alright, so, continue with Rallycross. Let's go... There's not, a lot, there's not as many options for rally cross, so we're just going to do rally. Um, that one's fun. I'm going to go with Kenya. Alright, here we go. Evening sun. That's going to be nice. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints about this. There's nothing I don't like about it, really. I mean, this, if you hold it to the side and then let go, I mean, that's kind of kind of weird, but, you know, it, it makes sense. You're going to want it to return to where it was, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. It's spring-loaded. All right, let's do... Assists, advanced settings, um, automatic braking, where's that at? Corner braking, there it is, turn that off. Auto steer, was that on? No, it was off, okay, auto steer sounds kind of uh, a bit far. I think that's something that uh, shouldn't be implemented in a racing game, because that kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, it might just help you a little bit, I guess. But, alright, here we go. I think I shifted too early. Maybe. Yeah, see, now I have to be more careful with the gas and brake. In my last race, I was, uh... Whoa. In my last break, I was just, I had to pedal all the way down, all the way through. I was flooring it all the way through. Because it was automatically slowing me down around turns anyway, so. See if I can do some drifting. See if I can drift around this turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Not quite that good. Yeah, there are other events in this game besides uh, different types of races. There are drift events, and I'm pretty sure there's... Oh my. I'm pretty sure there's, like, stunt shows, which you can do. Um, but I've tried a couple of those events. I tried the drifting event, uh, 
with this wheel and it just whoa that's not it's not supposed to happen there we go um yeah and it's just really difficult because of the shifting and i'm i'm a lot better with automatic transmission however it's not as fun that way i might have already said that You guys are probably hearing the clicking to my uh, to my stick really bad, and it's yeah, it is pretty clicky. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Another thing is, if you have the uh, manual transmission on, you can't just press the gas to reverse, which is how it's set, or I mean the brake to reverse. When you have automatic transmission, you just press the uh, the brake to reverse it. But if you're in manual, you have to actually put it in reverse and then hit the gas, you know, as you as you usually would. I I don't know a lot about cars, honestly. I'm just talking like I do. I know about car games. <laughs> That's pretty. What a beautiful sunset. I'm going to stare at it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Start in reverse here. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And I think you just passed me. see I am a real Tokyo Drifter. Get off of me, sign. But yeah, I, I definitely like racing with this. It's just, I don't want to keep it out on my desk all the time. So it's putting it away and getting it back out, because it's a pretty clunky set. But I love playing with it for sure, so that's that, I guess. So I will see you guys in my next video.